Hello, I'm John Zadar. On behalf of PB Alerts, we welcome you to Zadar's Trading Insights. I like to take a look at what I call stock pops, the stocks that pop up in the news, pop up in the charts, just pop up in your face and you need to take notice of them. So I've gone and grabbed up a few of these stock pops that came up on Friday, August 20th, and I'd like to share those with you now. So the first company we're going to take a look at is Natural Shrimp Inc. Ticker SHMP. Now, Natural Shrimp is a aquaculture farm. They grow shrimp and they sell it fresh, never frozen. What makes this company so unique is their patented technology. This doesn't sound like any big deal, growing shrimp. The problem is, is that nobody's been able to do it healthy. The problem is that they use antibiotics, probiotics, and chemicals to keep the water clean so that the shrimp can grow. But the shrimp absorb all of these chemicals, so it's not good food. And most of our shrimp is coming from South Asia and Latin America. We're sorry to say they have poor safety standards and use a lot of chemicals. That's not the case here. Did you know that shrimp is the number one selling seafood in America? By far. Last year, we did $13 billion worth of business, and it is growing at a 5% clip every year. The problem is, is that 90% of our shrimp is coming from outside of the country, as I said. So the money is leaving our country and not coming in. This is a perfect opportunity for natural shrimp. They have got a better product that they could produce right here in the country. So now what really sets shrimp apart from anybody else is their technology, their patented technology. They have learned how to keep the waters clean without using any chemicals whatsoever. It's not necessary. They use Vibrio suppression technology. Real simple, they electrify the water basically with just enough electricity to kill the bacteria but not harm the shrimp. The other factor is the ammonia rust, low oxidization, things like this. They have another company that has a science technology that's been patented that cures that problem that removes the ammonia from the byproducts of the shrimp going to the bathroom in the water. This takes care of it all. So they only have to purge their water once a day rather than multiple times a day. And between the two sciences, they have cracked what has been holding back true healthy shrimp farming. Now, Two years ago, actually March 2020, the company had a major catastrophe. Their number one and only facility, once they got it up and running, caught fire and burned to the ground. So since then, they have been rebuilding. They have now got four different uh, facilities. They have one in Texas. This is their homeland. This is where they started. This has 37 acres with 20 nursery tanks and 40 grow out tanks. They then have three in Iowa, one in Webster City, Iowa, 13 acres, 240 grow out tanks. They have another one in Buckeye, Iowa, 20 acres, 24 grow out tanks. And they have Blairs, Iowa, 20 acres, 240 nursery tanks and 18 grow out tanks and they are planning on moving to florida now the company never freezes they are totally fresh all the time and their primary thing is to work 400 miles within their facilities and they are trying to get four new facilities up every single year now shrimp is not the only seafood that they are going to be working with they also have a lot of fin fish that they are considering because the problem is most fin fish, things like salmon, uh, barramundi, abalone, trout, yellowtail kingfish, a lot of this stuff is grown in what they call sea cages. They just put cages in the ocean and let them grow down there. That's not exactly the same thing, is it? That's not a controlled environment. So they are definitely working to push out into other areas of seafood that is going to grow by a lot of percentages once they get this going. And just a quick look so you have an idea, their long-term targets for 2021, they presume that they're going to do 6,000 pounds of shrimp a week. If you look over here, folks, you can see the production output, 3.1 million pounds, and you can see over here projected revenue, 
30, almost 31 thousand or 31 million dollars. So basically you are getting $10 a pound. That's what that works out to. And you can see that they are in Texas and Iowa and they are moving into Florida. That will give them four plus one and they want to add four every single year. And the great thing about this type of aquaculture farm, normal farms, other types of farms cost 100 million plus to get off the ground. Each one of these farms costs $5 million or less. It's a great investment with a great return rate. It only takes 24 weeks to grow shrimp and they're getting $10 a pound. So jumping on over to the OTC markets to get our legitimate information on Natural Shrimp Incorporated. I say legitimate because the OTC markets is the official housing site for all legal disclosures, filings, all information that is of interest to FINRA or the SEC and investors is here. Now that doesn't mean all news is here. News can be further out in the internet. Though the news can be found here, this is a great place to look first. So SHMP currently is at 36 cents and it is on the OTCQB. The OTCQB is the middle ground for the OTC markets. They basically have three tiers, pink, QB and QX. Pink are good stocks. There are some bad ones in there, but those are good stocks. The QB are where pinks uplist to show their better foot when they really want to make an impression on investors and they're trying to do better. QBs are better stocks. And then your QX are your best stocks. These are stocks that are as transparent as NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange. They could easily be up there if it wasn't for some legal reason that they aren't allowed to be up there. So we are looking at a QB for SHMP. It is a better stock. Now, they do pay $3,000 to see this real-time live quote. This does not show up. If I go over here to like INCC, you can see that this company doesn't pay $3,000. So me and you don't get to see level two quotes. This is what people are willing to pay or willing to sell for before they actually do it. And you can see all that here. Shrimp does pay $3,000 for it, so you can think of it as shareholder value. On this first page, you can come down and you can see the aftermath, the sales that happened after they got them. This is where the news is. There hasn't been any news here recently, but they have had an 8K come out, which was a company presentation. Wouldn't be bad to take a look at. You've seen a few of the slides that I've shown here. And they had their 10Q come out. Now we can go take a look. There's not a whole lot to really see on the financials because as I said, they haven't started making money yet. You can see here, zero, 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 zero. They are just now ready to go with about what, 600 grow tanks with shrimp that grow in 24 weeks. They have got all the places to sell it ready. It's not like they're gonna have a pile of shrimp and nowhere to sell it. So they are ready to get in the race right now. So I think this company has definitely a lot going for them. Now, if you look over at their share count, they have 900 million shares in their bank account. They can sell them if they want. They have 600,000 on the market, on the shelves right now. Those are being sold on the insiders, the management, and between you and me. Then you have the float. This is most important to me and you because this is what trades every day on the market. This makes the difference. There are 588, 589 million shares in the float. I think Shimp is going to go places. I think Shimp has got a lot of technology that they can sell to the rest of the world, make a lot of money there. Just here in America, they will sell shrimp. Well, you've seen number one seller, $13 billion a year. And if they have no competition right now in America to produce the quality type shrimp, big, dense, thick, clean shrimp that they're doing, well, where's all that extra money going to go? I think this company is going to do quite well. Hopefully I don't miss out on another big bump. So let's go take a look at the chart and see what it has to say for Shemp.
So here we are on TOS, that is Think or Swim trading platform. This comes free with TD Ameritrade account. You can't rent it, can't lease it, can't buy it. The only way you can get to use TOS, Think or Swim, is to have an account with TD Ameritrade. You don't have to trade with them, but you gotta have an account. And it does a lot of good stuff. All right, I am on SHMP's three year, one week chart. Now why the heck would I go here? Well. I hate to say this, but I made a big mistake. You see this big bang right here? This was just over two years ago. I bought in right back here at four cents. And I held it for a couple weeks and it went to seven cents. And I was tired of waiting, so I got out. You see what happened, didn't you? It went from seven cents to over 90 cents. I was so hurt. I was so angry. I left well over $7,000 sitting on the table because of my impatience. Penny stocks can make you money fast, but if you've really got patience, you can make huge amounts of gains on penny stocks. Patience pays best. All right, we're going to come into real time now. We're going to come down to 10 days. All right, uh, as a matter of fact, let's back up. I want you to see here on the four hour she came up from the COVID year. The stimulus checks helped a lot. This is mid-February. From there, it has just been falling, falling, falling until here recently. Boom. And this is during the time they've been rebuilding, getting everything in order, and really doing a lot of good work at that. So let's come in again back to that 10 days. Now, you can see it is falling slowly, 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 and then boom, it hit a low bubble here, jumped real fast, and then went sideways. So, first thing I figure is that there's got to be some news, right? There's got to be a catalyst for why this moved. Well, we just looked at the filings in the news. On Thursday, there was the 10Q. Well, they've had no revenues. They do have $28 million in cash and assets. So, they're not cash poor. They've got properties. You've seen how many acres they've got. They just don't have any revenues. So, it could not be the 10Q. And obviously, if the presentation came out on Friday, you don't make a jump on Thursday based on that. So why did that bounce? Well, the only thing I can figure is what I have always known. That low bubble right there is a carcass in the middle of the road with vultures flying around it. When a low bubble comes up, if the stock is worth anything, buyers are going to jump on it. It's a deal. It's a low bubble. It's as low as it's been in a long time. And people take advantage of that. They're not stupid. And there are lots of people who just wait for 52 week low bubbles to pop up and they jump on them. And look at this, folks. We went from 20 cents to 38 cents in one day. That's not a sub penny stock. That's a penny stock. That is a beautiful move. And then it went sideways for the presentation. So, you see a low bubble on a stock that's got value, you see a deal for sale <laughs> right there. You can see that the MACD and the RSI jumped very hard on that low bubble. But it's all coming back down. It has been on a downtrend for a long time. And I don't expect that the naked 10Q and a company presentation is going to be enough to get the stock to lift. That low bubble brought it back up but I get the feeling it's probably going to end up somewhere about here just out of basic normality I think it will fall without any stimulus so I don't think it's going to climb initially right now uh, it doesn't have any reason to fall I mean you can see we've got some good SMAs here the 200 the 20 and the 10 are all lined up righteously the, the smallest on top all going up it looks good but we need a little more power here for it to climb. So I would say this is a great company that will grow in the future. It is at a decent price, probably can and will get better. Will it hit that low again? God, I hope not, but I do anticipate it to probably come around, around, uh, what do we got there? About 30 cents, probably 30 cents. And if it jumps to 90 cents, like it just did before they were doing business, that's 300% gains, folks. I like this company. I think it's going to go places. I'll have shrimp cocktail, please. 
All right, our next stock here is a goodie. This is PowerTap Hydrogen Capital Core, ticker M-O-T-N-F. Now, I really am excited about this stock. I got into this uh, maybe two months ago, and the price has fallen, won't lie. Makes it a better deal right now. Um, this company has been around for a few years. They have been focused on the health and the renewable energy sectors. However, until recently, they've only been in the health. Now, what they have been doing over the last few years is building up in the cannabis and the psychedelic sector. They invested into Agroflora Cannabis Company, bought 10% of it. And then they built onto that with 12 joint ventures and other subsidiaries that they joined into the company. They had produced about $6 million, which is their first income this last year. They had started bringing it in and did about $6 million worth of business. Then they added PowerTap Hydrogen to the company and everything changed. Once they saw the value, once they saw what they actually had, they they relinquished all holds on everything else. They got rid of their agroflora, sold off all their other subsidiaries, and sent the JVs off with those contracts. They have now focused 100% on PowerTap. Now, before I get into the details of what it is they do and what makes them so amazing, let's take a look at a few details here about the company. The share structure is impressive. They have, now it says unlimited in the authorized shares. This is a Canadian company that PowerTap is based out of California. But being a, Cal, a uh, Canada company, they do not have to list how many shares they have total. I don't know why, but I assure you it's not unlimited. What they do have is 337 million of them on the market for the insiders management and us and then the float that is traded every day on the market between the investors is 143 million that's a really good float folks 143 million in a company like this i anticipate well i honestly see this as a ground floor opportunity it is a ground floor opportunity by no stretch of the imagination let me tell you a bit about this company this is a hydrogen producing company however what makes them completely different than any other company out there is the fact that they are on site this unit that you see here is put onto gas stations already built they do not buy property they do not build gas stations hydrogen stations they simply incorporate gas stations already built and add this unit to the property then they end up with a unit that just pumps hydrogen that is made right on the site of the gas station. This drastically reduces the price of the hydrogen. Hydrogen, if it is produced at a factory, a big production place like gasoline and diesel, costs over $11 a kilo. And normally it's not even blue hydrogen. What is blue hydrogen? Well, there's gray, black, pink. The color of the hydrogen is how clean it is. Now, we're not talking about the hydrogen itself. We're talking about how it's made, how much carbon is created by making hydrogen. Now, if you use electricity or gas or diesel to make hydrogen, you are emitting carbon. So they call that gray, dirty hydrogen or even black hydrogen. Blue hydrogen is when you capture all the CO2 and there is no CO2 given off at all they have created a device that not only captures the co2 but puts it back into the system creates extra electricity that they can actually put back into the grid now this company has already got 50 million dollars invested from big investors into it and the great thing about this is is that because of what they have the green fueling, there are all sorts of programs to help them build out. And this is where it gets really interesting. Now, this is a startup company. They just got into PowerTap in October of 2020. And since then, they have launched into a very wide arena. Now, let me explain this to you. First off, when you build onto other gas stations using green energy, sustainable energy, you can get up to 70% of the build out covered just by grants and government loans. But that is only the beginning. This is where it gets really good. When I say the word Tesla, 
you think of big exploding business, stocks that climb, uh, just on the cusp, ingenuity, and that's what this company is all about. They have got a product here that California will support with tax credits, just like Tesla. That's right. And this is how it breaks down, just as easy as can be. For each pump that they install, they take two weeks to install. That's it. Two weeks to install a pump. They install these pumps. Once they are functional, they qualify for tax credits from California. They will get $1.2 million for each pump that is put in and functionable. They do not have to sell one red cent of hydrogen. This is before they sell anything. They will make $1.2 million for every single pump in California. Now, this is for 15 years. So once the pump starts selling, they make even more tax credits. They move into a different type of tax credit, but the money keeps pouring in. Do you know that one year for Tesla, they made $339 million in tax credits and they reported $331 million in revenue. Folks, do the math. There were $8 million in the red that year. The only reason Tesla has grown so quickly and so sure-footedly is because they have had money coming in from the government to help them grow their business. And that's what PowerTap gets. PowerTap is building on-site hydrogen production, hydrogen refueling. You can refuel faster than electric cars. You can refuel cheaper than all vehicles and you get a longer driving distance without the CO2. Now let's make this perfectly clear. Hydrogen is not the fuel being burned in these cars. It's not a hydrogen bomb <laughs> that's going to explode. Hydrogen is used as part of a chemical process. And when the process occurs, there are only two byproducts from the entire process, electricity and water. That's right. That's it. And the water that drips out of the tailpipe is so clean, you can literally drink it out of the tailpipe. It is that clean. Now, this truly is a ground floor opportunity. Hydrogen is under the radar. We're not using it very much at all. Why? There just aren't any refilling stations. There are right now over $34 billion worth of contracts sitting on the table for large semi trucks to use hydrogen. We have cars already built that use hydrogen. Hydrogen is cheaper. You can go further with it. You can refuel faster with it. And the fact of the matter is hydrogen is what can run an electric car. All of the technology that we are creating right now for electric vehicles will not be abandoned because hydrogen just creates electricity. All we're doing is replacing the lithium batteries with hydrogen fuel cells. This is this is where the future is going. We don't have to rape the planet to get the lithium. Hydrogen is a source available everywhere in complete abundance and will never run out of it. And its byproducts are clean. So this is an exceptional opportunity just sitting right now on the forefront of what EV is paving for us. Hydrogen is just going to plug in and take over. And this company is a first mover on the forefront with money coming in from the government to support them as they grow. And as they start doing business, the tax credits continue to add on to their revenues. This is exponential growth. This is very, very exciting. And of course, as you would expect, all of this technology is patented. They have 20 plus patents right now. The important thing about patents isn't just that it protects your product, your invention, your new concept, which is absolutely important to retain the revenues coming in the future, but it is a product that can be sold elsewhere so that others can make benefit use of it. And that is exactly what is going on. Many, many countries are reaching out to PowerTap for the patented technology to be used in their countries. And finally, 
The last thing I want to show you is a piece of news that came out here July 30th, and it's not anything little. PowerTap enters into an exclusive Middle East distribution agreement. It says that the company is pleased to announce it has partnered with Viridian Hydrogen UAE to help establish a hydrogen ecosystem in the United Arab Emirates, UAE, and throughout the Middle East. It goes on to say down here that Viridian has been tasked to support PowerTap in continuing to build on the momentum they have established in the United States through their partnership with the Andretti Group, an independent operator of approximately 100 retail fueling stations. The Andretti Group has about a hundred and some odd stations in four different states and PowerTap has a contract to outfit those stations. It goes on to say that currently the the Arab Emirates only has two hydrogen fueling stations in the entire UAE. So PowerTap is perfectly positioned to take advantage of this and help them out to become one of the first countries in the area to totally be covered with hydrogen. It says right here that subject to completing the manufacturing and the test, PowerTap expects to deploy a minimum of 100 hydrogen fueling stations with various Middle Eastern governments, private and public multinational corporations over the next 24 months. Initially, PowerTap expects to launch its products across the UAA, which will result in the Emirates becoming the first country in the region to have a true nationwide hydrogen infrastructure that serves all of its citizens. Remember, we're talking about the Middle East. Oil is what they're all about. Oil is their revenue, oil is everything, and they are converting to hydrogen. The whole country realizes that oil is phasing out, so they are moving towards hydrogen. And PowerTap not only has got a first mover advantage, but it looks as though they have got the ends with this company to actually deal with the Middle East. And they give us one last note down here that PowerTap is constantly being approached by other countries for their patented technology. Well, why wouldn't they? Lots of people want this energy. Lots of people would love to build on-site hydrogen sites rather than humongous production uh, facilities. So I know Norway is on the list. There's another country on the list. So this is growing out. I got into this about two months ago at double the price. That's right, the price has fallen almost 50% since then. Matter of fact, let's go take a look at the chart so you can see what I'm talking about. So back at TOS, Think or Swim, we are looking at MOTNF Power Tap. This is the four hour, six month view. And I gotta say it's a bit unique compared to a lot of the charts that we've been looking at or that I look at on a regular basis. This huge jump right here is in the beginning of January. Now we did have some stimulus money then, but most of the stimulus money happened in the middle of February, which you can see is the down point here she did not get anything when everybody else was surging this fell she did hit a high here of two dollars and eighty cents uh january 20th of this year then she fell and she had a time here what she had one two three four five days of gains uh in march and then we can see another one occurred here right there a nice strong one this is right in the middle. That uh, piece of news about the Middle East came on the 30th, which is right here. So we had one, two, three days of gains. Then we had the news, had a huge jump after hours, another huge day. This took it up to $1.20, which is ooh, roughly half of what it was in January. All right, and then backing out, you can see it has continued to fall even after these huge jumps. So truly, it has been on a downward trend. Another one of those stocks that really shouldn't be this low. Could be market sentiment, could just be under the radar. Too much EV uh, hype going on right now for anybody to pay attention to hydrogen. But now is the time. When stocks are getting hated, that's the time to buy them up. Solar fell so low for a few years there and nobody gave it any respect. 
and now solar is on top of the world again so this i see as being definitely an opportunity you can see gee whiz that's four hours i do want to go back a year let's see here all right so if we draw a line right just so i can see how far back we did have to go um that would take us to november of last year so we are at lows not seen since november of last year almost a full year of ups and downs now i anticipate things to start changing when i don't know when is california going to start divvying out the credits how does all that work honestly don't know a lot more dd needs to be done here but we know where the future is heading we know what this company has in their hands we know what the potential is this is an opportunity just waiting to be bagged now just so we can see what's going on here in the recent time you can see there's not a lot of volume it has not had a lot of attention a couple of pops here and there and it hit a low bubble and speaking of a low bubble i want to go back to that four hour because i want to point that out this big jump we had here remember the last stock i showed you well this did it again didn't it there's that low bubble it was on a low trend for a very long time very long time coming down coming down coming down hit a low and what happened boom the vultures came to peck on it and it climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed literally i'm not used to seeing climbs that many days in a row that's exciting so when you see a low bubble on a stock that has value or you can think of it this way when you see a low bubble and see a bounce back like that that is a telltale sign that this stock has got value a lot of people want it in when they saw that low bubble get it now so we are back to that aren't we folks right now the price is at 63 cents it was at 52 when everybody got excited and remember the news came in the middle of this surge so half of this surge was due to that low bubble the other half was due to the news both are great uh factors to prove that this company has got value on the table and off the table whether there's news or not people see the value they just aren't responding yet don't be late i think this is a good one but do your dd folks i didn't cover everything there is to cover and there's always more to know so there you go we have two more stocks both of them got potential out the wazoo both are just starting to bring in income they are just at the cusp talk about a ground floor opportunity for either one of them one is capturing 13 billion dollars worth of business natural shrimp that has been out of the country and they're going to bring it back how many other companies are doing what they're doing mm -mm. and then you got power tap power tap is going to do again what nobody's doing and this country needs and it is going to spread across this country very quickly by 2030 they're talking 3.7 trillion dollars in a bit business it just it boggles my mind so do your dd check these two companies out watch the charts catch yourself a deal and be patient these companies need time to grow and your stock will grow with them good luck and remember the more you know <laughs> the more you grow see you folks